Whoa, 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 be careful with that thing, okay? It is worth more than you are, Jesus. Charming. What, at least I know I can sell this thing. You insist on walking around being called Brian. Come on. That's my name. Yeah, well, it's not a rock star name, boo, all right? Like, how am I supposed to sell Brian, <laughs> the straight edge asexual to this group of degenerates? I mean, don't you have like, I don't know, a tattoo or like a piercing or something, something to make you seem a little less like a paper salesman? All I have to do is go on that stage. Aw. Talent never got anybody anywhere. But A&R threw a small fortune at you so that you could do this dive bar tour, get to play in this rat ass shithole, all right? Don't fuck it up, okay? Love you. So, who's going on tonight? I don't know, but I hope it's not any violent goth shit like last week. Hey, we're not some goth shit. We're chamber men. The flyer just said it was EDM night. No <laughs> acts listed. Oh, so that's why we're here. It's important to make connections. I mean, the scene scene is so small here. If I can meet some cool people and get a new band going. What? Okay, you've got like 15 cents taking up our den. Surely that's enough to go solo. I own six cents, not 15, and I still need at least three more if I want to go solo. All the beep boops sound the same to me. <laughs> They're not the same. Some are monophonic, some are polyphonic, some are digital, some are analog, some have built-in reverb, some have sine waves. I really want one with audio rate modulation for that like <laughs> Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna go talk to my own people. BRB. Hey there, glad to see someone's performing here tonight. Uh, I'm Seth, I'm a synth musician, just like you. Musician? Who do you mean, collector? So, fancy record deal's not getting you too far. Got you playing the same shitholes we used to before. $50,000 advance And a custom built synth too. thought you were so great, all classically trained and shit, but good luck rocking this crowd with one synth in cargo shorts. I seem to remember them booing us off the stage last time we were here. You'll see. Did you see a ghost? Something like that. Like a really smug ghost with a Really nice synthesizer. Do you think his synthesizer is also haunted? Godega. Oh, it's actually Godega. It's a grocery app I work for. You know that the exploitation of low-wage workers through a cell phone app is both dehumanizing and morally bankrupt. It's not so bad, except today there was this one lady who I delivered groceries to, but I happened to be her rideshare driver the other day too. And well, now she thinks I'm stalking her. So, so that's, that's fun. Wait, is that Ryan? No, no way I'm sticking around and watching him play after what he did to you. It's fine. It'll be about eight seconds before one of these neon EDM assholes starts slinging silly bands out. I got a water for brain.
brand. You folks like music. He has it. Yeah, he is really talented. That was great. No, he has a magic synthesizer. Have you been smoking my ditch weed? Look, I know you guys don't give a shit about synths, but I need you to listen to me. Ever since I was a kid with my little stylophone, I've known about the legend of the seven deadly synths. And he has one. There is no other way to explain what he just did. Seven deadly synths? Listen, it started with gluttony. The gluttony synth took up an entire building out in BFE, way too big to ever move, way too far to ever hook up and use. They say Scaver stripped it so clean by now that you wouldn't even know it, even if you found it. Then there was Wrath. The government found it back during World War II. Supposedly, it had the power to inspire entire nations to die for it. They locked it away in some warehouse so no one could ever use it, especially Nazis. Hate those guys. Then there's Sloth, but that one's probably languishing in some pawn shop somewhere because it's got no motivation to ever actually work. Lust is the one I get pissed about. Some assholes just destroyed it. Wait, what assholes? The Anti-Synth Society of Honorable Orchestras and Legitimate Entertainers. As if it couldn't get uglier, then we've got Greed made up of straight gold. So, of course, it sold at auction to some anonymous rich douche for about $1.5 million. Wow, we should really eat the rich. And that brings us to the one Brian has, Envy. It's a synth that everyone wants until they have it. It just keeps getting passed from person to person, bought or stolen over and over again, but no one's ever satisfied. I don't know how he got a hold of it, but I know how I felt when he played it. I got so very jealous. I mean, he did just play pretty good. No, all of that shit was just presets, just generic recycled garbage. I thought you said there were seven. Yeah, pride. There's not much to say about that one. No one knows where it is, or what it even looks like. The one thing we do know, it can control all the other deadly synths. Seth, I know it sucks what Brian did to you, but there's no such thing as magic synthesizers. He was always really talented, and now he's doing well, but that doesn't mean you can't do the same. It's just, it's not your time yet. Brian never appreciated since the way that I do. And now he's up there and he's just treating it like some instrument he can use to get ahead. It is an instrument. You know, normally I would really appreciate you saying that. It's a fun story.
solid up close. Have no labels or branding. Even a custom job would have branding. Seth, go to sleep. He didn't believe me. I didn't believe it until I saw it for myself. I knew that if I could just have it, it would solve everything. I'm gonna steal that synthesizer. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna go talk to my own people. <laughs>